there is something with this creative journey that most of us have gone through and if you click on this video there is a possibility that you are also going through it's not even just about creativity alone it's just life in general and that is feeling stuck sometimes regardless of the amount of work you are putting in in your creative journey your design works you just feel like you are not progressing as fast as enough or you are not even progressing at all and trust me i've been there before many of the creatives that i know have been there before and if you click on this video there's a high possibility that you are in that position at this period most of these things has to do with your mindset it's more of the psychological part of graphic design or psych the psychological part of creativity as compared to any other part that we've mostly talked about in the other videos so in this video i'm going to sharing some mindset shifts that you need to have here are the point of stagnation and a couple of things that will help you overcome this situation so let's get into the video hi red innocent here and i've been a graphic designer for over seven years now so most of the things that i'm going to be talking about are things that i've personally gone through and i'm going to share my real life experience with you and how you can overcome some of these things now let's dive into this mindset shift that will help you overcome this feeling of frustration now the first point i want to talk about is for you to understand that this stage that you are in is part of your group i know this isn't going to make sense in the literal meaning but let me try to explain you see plateaus are part of growth in our world it is quite tempting to feel like you are not making any progress especially if you are not seeing any immediate results for instance you started practicing graphic design for the past six months you've been practicing you've been watching countless tutorials you've been spending hours practicing and all you feel like you've gotten started so you've started sharing your works here and there but then you realize that even if you share your work you're not getting any feedback you're not getting any response you're not getting clients you're not getting anything basically you feel like the six months of practicing and spending hours isn't being fruitful and of course it is okay to feel that because i personally felt the same when i started my graphic design journey after putting in so many hours and i felt like i wasn't good enough i wasn't even ready to go into the market or even if you are ready to go into the market you're not getting any clients you're not getting anyone to hire you and this was same for me as well when i started my youtube channel it was so very hard for over six months I wasn't even up to say 300 subscribers and it felt like all the hours that i was putting in was going to waste but wait there was something more to it you see this point that you are in the plateau of your life is where the magic happened actually this is the point where you kind of get all the energy the zeal the hunger to learn more to equip yourself more so that when that opportunity strike You'll be ready for it you should understand that it is this point that you are building yourself that you are equipping yourself that you are building capacity for what is ahead of you you know mostly when you talk about being a graphic designer or being a better graphic designer or creative we mostly talk about consistency and building momentum and capacity okay so this part of your life this part this point where you feel like you stuck you've hit a point or a spot where you are not progressing this is where you put in the effort to build that capacity that is the point where you store a lot of things for the future so in the book mastery by robert green he talks about the frustration phase of learning and how breakthroughs come mostly right after this consistent or long periods of efforts and mostly at the least time that you expected it okay and that is a reminder to us that sticking it out putting in the effort letting your zeal your hunger everything that is happening at this moment drive you to build capacity is a very important thing and it's very critical to pay attention to point number two celebrate your small wins i don't know how many times i've talked about this on all the platforms that i've had but then it is very important to celebrate your small wins at this point you see we often set very huge goals which is very important which is very fine everyone would want to land a 1 million Ghana city or a 1 million dollar project which is life-changing but the thing you say to yourself is whereas this 1 million dollar project hasn't come yet you land a 10 dollar project why don't you celebrate it for contest you started off zero you started off broke okay and then your first client was like 
a $20, a $50 project. You just think about it. You see, the thing is, every small win adds up. Yeah, write that one down. Every small win adds up. For instance, I keep telling people that if you get to the point where you are making like $50 each or $50 a day, you can just add that up and see the amount of money that you are going to make over the month. Or you'd rather want to wait for a year and hit like a $1,000 project before you feel like you've gotten an actual project. I remember when I made my first YouTube money after about a year of doing YouTube. You see, the energy, the, the zeal, the celebration, it was different. The whole vibe from that time was different because I realized that the efforts that I had been putting in for this many months had started making sense. It had started making progress. Okay. And I learned this the hard way from the book Atomic Habits by James Clare, where he emphasized that small consistent progress leads to major progress over time. So the whole point here is that instead of you waiting to hit a jackpot or a $1 million project before you celebrate your wins or feel like you're doing something significant, start by celebrating the small wins. The $50 project, the $20, the $30, the $100, the $500. Start by celebrating those ones. Start by appreciating the clients that you have now, whereas you are building yourself to win over bigger clients or much better clients. All this makes sense. Now, another important point, comparison. The rule is very simple. Compare less, focus more. We've all at a point fallen into the comparison trap. This is a human thing, okay? It is very easy for you to compare yourself to other people. You make that flyer and you start comparing it to similar ones that have been made already and you feel like, no, this thing is like a crap. I did absolute crap. And it's fine. We are human. So sometimes that part of it or that part of our lives is there. But then the thing is compare less. Even if you are going to compare yourself to people, it has to be from a point of motivation or a point of trying to learn, not a point of jealousy. Sometimes you scroll through Instagram and you see these amazing designs that have been done by people. You go to Pinterest and you feel like you are, you are, you are playing. You know, you are, you are not doing anything. But then the actual thing here is that there are so much that has gone into these designs behind the scenes that you don't see for instance this video that i'm shooting right over here that you are seeing it's color graded all nice and it seems i'm flowing so much without any mistakes actually there has been some mistakes over here let me show you one here so you so you just yes you just saw that one right over there so you see the final product and you feel like the person did it all at once but so much goes into it and you see everybody shows the perfect side or the final project but mostly people don't show the number of iterations they had to do the number of rejections that they had gone through and the number of doubts that they had to go through to get that project on your instagram feed and another thing is people comparing their beginning or their middle kind of stage to somebody somebody has been in the graphic design space or the creative design space for like 15 years 20 years they come with experience they come with people they know so you don't start three months into it six months into it and you start to compare yourself to them i'm not saying you shouldn't take inspiration or you shouldn't be motivated by these big people or the people that have experienced more than you but to the point that you compare your works to them and you feel like you're not doing anything, that is a mistake. And what you're doing is so unfair to your journey. Understand this, every designer has their own timeline. Every creative has their own timeline and you can't rush the process. So you just need to keep your head up and keep learning and keep improving. And you see, I learned this great lesson from the subtle art of not giving a you get it a book that was written by mark mason i recommend that you read that book if you are a creative watching this video and the lesson was very simple it talks about focusing on what really matters your journey your growth your personality your brand focusing on those ones and not how you feel stuck up against others and i think this is a general life principle or a general life advice that we can also 
adapt you don't need to feel so stuck up about if people are doing amazing be happy for them be glad for them whereas you are also trying to make yourself better improve and grow over time now point number i think it's four point number four seek out for feedback not validation so most of the time you see when you are a growing designer and you design something you want feedback from people for all you know most of these things that we post out there we are not seeking for feedback actually we are seeking for validation we are waiting for people to tell us that oh this is good this is nice you are doing better so that we can be motivated but trust me that is going to hurt you in the long run that you probably have an idea about sometimes people have to be real with you they, they need to tell you the truth and one of my bosses from the nether eric k mostly talks about this he's not going to entertain you when he feels like you made something say crap but of course you should also find a very subtle way of saying it so that the person doesn't really feel like demotivated or anything like that but honestly the advice is very clear and loud validation isn't what will help you grow feedback is so you should actually stop looking for validation and instead seek for real actual feedback personally i've been at this point before one time one of my designs were rejected okay and i felt like the person was being harsh or the person was not being considerate enough thinking from the point that i put in all the effort that i could do to design that flyer and it was later on rejected but upon paying close attention to the client's feedback i realized that i was at fault and the mistake was from me it wasn't from the client so all i needed to was take that feedback that i got from them into account and then try to make my subsequent designs better and that is when i realized that feedback even though or sometimes it can be very tough and very harsh to take in is the key to leveling up your skills i also learned something very important from the book mindset the new psychology of success by carol dweck i hope i got the name right in the book she talks about the difference between fixed mindset and growth mindset we are going to talk about growth mindset in the next point and then she explained that people with growth mindset crave for feedback because they see it as a way to level up a way to grow a way to improve and they don't see it as personal attack whereas people with fixed mindset often see it as the opposite of what we just explained so they don't appreciate other people's values they feel like whenever you are giving them feedback on something you are attacking them personally and if you are a designer and especially if you've hit this point and you have such mindset for all you know many of us who get stuck in this kind of plateau is as a point of this kind of mindset because we feel like we are doing better and even if people are advising us to go in a different direction or try different things we feel like what we are doing is the better one and that we don't need any further improvement once you start to have the growth mindset you see that you view criticism from a different point of view and you don't see anything as personal attack or to put it short you don't take anything personal or personal brothel now the next point let me throw more light on the growth mindset that we just talked or we just spoke about i feel like the psychological part of graphic design or creativity isn't explored or talked about yet on this platform or on any other platform you are seeing this but trust me the growth mindset is one of the most important mental shifts that you can have as a creative or as a designer for instance instead of thinking like i'm not too good you can say i'm not too good yet these are two different things instead of saying i'm not getting high paying client i'm not getting high paying client yet if you have this mindset the idea is that you don't have them yet but you are working towards getting them you are working on making yourself better and getting better clients you've not gotten to work with a brand that you so much want to work with yet but then you are working on improving yourself to work with them that is the mental shift that you need to have if you are at this point for anything that you are feeling so doubtful about that your designs are not good your local design isn't up there i think the yet mentality is one thing that can help you level up because all that you think of is you are not there yet i'm not good at design yet i'm not good at picking colors yet i'm not good at typography yet so i'm working towards it i'm trying to improve upon it i'm getting better each and every single day so in a book great by angela duckworth she argues that even though talent is more important but then perseverance is even more important or somebody will say 
important <laughs> okay because regardless of the amount of talent that you have if you don't persevere someone without talent will persevere and come and be better than you so every failed project that you've had every rejection that you've had every tough client that you've dealt with and every difficult decision that you've had to make in your graphic design journey is a step toward mastery and if you keep going at this pace and having this yet mentality you are going to crush it believe me now the last most important one that i'll talk about is recharging or creative breaks i've made a whole video about this i'll link it up somewhere here if you want to check that video out but it is very important for you to take breaks and recharge your creativity if you've hit this point i recently posted a short that was talking about the fact that you don't need to spend all these hours on your creative desk because you need to step out you need to have fun you need to watch videos you need to play games you need to watch movies or just go out or step out from your computer screen one thing you should understand as a creative is that burnout is real and most of the times if you've hit this plateau phase of your life it means that you are burnt out whether you're burnt out from not getting clients you're burnt out from thinking that your designs are not good or you're burnt out from the criticisms that you are getting yeah, criticism can get you burned out as well. Either of this, you need to take breaks to recharge your creativity. You need to step back and re-strategize. So, you see, you're not going to change the goal entirely. You're just going to change the strategic plan or the approach that you're using. We often get so hard on ourselves when we reach this point because we feel like we are not doing enough or we are not doing much. We feel like the people that are seeing results or the people that are getting the clients are doing something special and doing something more than us but most times when you look at it it's just a matter of stepping back and seeing it from a different perspective or from a different picture sometimes all you need to do is do something way unrelated to design or unrelated to whatever creative approach that you are using and that is the point that you realize that the actual problem isn't the design or the thing that you're doing but it has to do with a whole lot of other factors i want you to understand this everything that you are doing right now every sacrifice you are making every tutorial that you're watching everything you are practicing is setting you up for your future success there are times you have to stay up all night to watch tutorials i've always shared this story the fact that i had to stay up all night sometimes to watch tutorials so that i could use the work machine the following morning to practice because I wasn't having a laptop of my own there were times you had to borrow computers or laptops to complete projects there were times you have to utilize the midnight bundle simply because you didn't have enough money to buy data there are times you have to download all the tutorials and watch it offline because you can't even afford to watch two minutes of tutorial on youtube you are going to be hit by you've used like 50 percent of your internet bundle these are all the sacrifices that we are making so that our future self can thank us. And if you are doing this and you've hit this point, this is not the time to give up. This is the time to regroup yourself, re-strategize and look at things from different perspectives so that your future self can thank you. And if you need a little bit of inspiration, let me read one from the book, The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy and he says it's about how small daily actions can lead to massive long-term success the sacrifices you make today will pay off your future self will thank you so yes if you are feeling like you're not making progress if you are stuck up in your journey remember it's all part of your journey it's all part of what will make you better and it's all part of your story so that you can share just like i shared mine with you in the future so keep learning keep pushing and don't give up if you could relate to this video very much a subscribe to the channel would be so very much appreciated and if you share this video with someone that you know a graphic designer that you know if you are watching this on instagram or tiktok or twitter you can tag a designer that you know so that they can take a bit of inspiration from this as well but then if you made it to this point thank you so very much for watching this video I hope this was helpful and this was inspiring enough to get you up and kicking and continue that project that you are working on. Let me know if you'd want me to treat more of such topics, a psychological part of graphic design like this in subsequent videos. Thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, probably a tutorial or something else. Thanks again for watching and bye.